Scrapbook of Crap. What number of Scrapbook of Crap is it? Scrapbook oh. of Crap, episode 2. And I'm calling this the Hot Noodle Edition. Oh, yeah. So Be- why is that? Well, because... Let's give a bit of background to this. Okay. And we've mentioned before on the show, we uh, help out on a YouTube channel run by Barry Lewis and Stuart Ashen, and it's called Bartians. And you turn up on it every now and then. And the recent episode went out a week or so ago. Um, it was a uh, little game where they play pop-up pirates. And at the end, we thought, for a laugh... Let's put Eli Silverman on the end talking about noodles. It can't possibly be funny or interesting. That's the joke. Apparently, it was very funny and interesting. <laughs> um, uh, mate, I just uh, would like to say this is a watershed moment for me. I yeah. mean, I've been talking about the importance of noodles, uh, the relative importance of noodles, for a long time now. And uh, people all around me, like yourself, have been quite dismissive. Yeah, because it's noodles. It's not like, you know, saving the world or world hunger or, you know, political discussion. It's instant noodles that happens to be your forte. It's sustenance. It's a type of sustenance, Paul, and that's never going to go out of fashion, right? No, so- I know. You're right. I agree. Um, so what I thought I'd do is to start off. I, I went to the video, and as usual, I- after the video goes out, I like to keep an eye on the comments and keep, you know, the fan base interested. I was surprised. Very surprised by the weight of noodle comments underneath the video. This is a video that, for six of its minutes, is the game. And it's Barry and Stuart being very funny and having a laugh. And then followed by four and a bit minutes of you talking noodles. Um, Now, for let me just give you an idea. For balance, uh, the comment system is weighed like this. I would say most of the comments are 80% (laughs) noodle-based. Followed by one or two comments saying, why aren't we talking about the actual episode? It was funny. Um, I'm just going to read a few of these comments out, Eli, to feed your e- um, ego. Okay. All right. Let me just have a little scroll. Uh, these. Darkart291 says, I must say, Eli is quickly becoming one of my favorite people on the planet. Just happens. This happens when, when, when you speak the truth, you know? It's scary. Um, someone else says, noodle segment should be a monthly thing, in my opinion. Well, uh... That's a very good idea, you know. Um, all, all of this will be considered in the in the new landscape of uh, the the new the, the new kind of power structure. Oh, uh, that's, it, that's emerging here. Yeah, you know? it's scary. I mean, look. I mean, on that comment by Ego Lass, there's someone who says, "Make it weekly," followed by someone saying, "Make it daily," "Make it hourly," <laughs> "Make it minutely," See? "Make it secondly." This is ridiculous. <laughs> the internet is full of massive wobbly pricks, and I'm not happy. Dylan Fellatio. No, oh, no. F- Maybe I've said that wrong. Fellas... Well, it's obviously playing on your mind. Yeah, maybe. Anyway, Dylan says, I came for the Barshans antics and I stayed for the noodle device. No, and I stayed for the noodle advice. That was really hard to say. Well, perhaps he's got he's got something there. Perhaps it's some kind of a noodle clinic that we should uh, think about setting up. You know, I'm happy to, to share share what I know with people if they're interested. You know, it's, uh... I mean, it's just ridiculous. Pencliff says, I look forward to Eli's inevitable noodle podcast. Full length noodle talk, please. I demand more noodles. I want a noodle side channel. <laughs> Eli speaks the truth. I mean, it's just... <laughs> why did I just watch a man talk about instant noodles for two minutes? And why... this is why my parents call me a disappointment, says Chassa12345. <laughs> um, you're, not, you're not a disappointment, mate. You know, it's, a, it's an interesting area. It really is. Um, I was actually interested in learning about the different instant noodles and was bummed out when it abruptly ended. Great episode anyway. This is crazy. The noodle talk at the end was amazing, says Josh Man is the bomb. <laughs> so, you know, whatever you want to take for that. God, let me just... This, this, seriously, Eli, I'm not joking. It's nothing but noodle talk. You have yeah. started a revolution. I've, I've hit, hit, hit it on the head with the, with the noodle there, yeah. You yeah. really have. And there were people chipping in. Oh, I like... Is it Coca Noodles? K-O-K-A? Coca? Yes. They, they have to be, actually. I mean, I know I did the, my top three noodles before on a previous episode, yeah, which you didn't. mocked. Which you mocked. I know. And uh, little did you know yeah. that uh, we'd be in this situation, did you? I so, know. yeah, I actually gave my top three noodles. I believe Coca was in there. I'm I, not sure, but it, um, their crab one. or their lobster flavour. Yeah. Uh, just a brilliant basic noodle. If you're going to just start, if you're going to start this journey, uh, that's a great place to start. Coca. It is. It's a nice safe bet, is it? Well, it's just so pimpable. Uh, well, and, uh, look, it's no... a basic two packet. We got the oil pack and the uh, the oil sachet oh flavor, and the uh, the dry soup 
powder. Oh my god, this is so depressing for me. <laughs> <laughs> and so uh, yeah, they're crab and they're lobster. And also the mushroom, I have to say, is very good as well. Although that's a single packer with um, only uh, with only the soup mix. Yeah, uh, who else says something? Uh, Lugnell says, I do not mind listening to Eli talk more about noodles. That bastard's got his noodle facts on lockdown. (laughs) (laughs) David Price says, Eli is right about those Nissan Black Garland Raymond. Uh, They're amazing. (laughs) Discovered them a few months ago. I also concur and recommend the egg to pimp that out. (laughs) Yeah. See, it's people know, man. People know. Zoe no. Papillon says, if you seriously don't do the noodle talk thing or put a full length video out as a bonus, I'm unsubscribing to this channel so fast you won't believe it. <laughs> well, uh, you know, it, it is always a vocal sort of minority. And, uh, you know, I think this is a minority that have passion for a for certain kind of uh, instant food product. Yeah. Happy Plu says this, as a devout pastafarian, <laughs> which I like, I recognise Eli's words are nothing less than divine scripture. May, th- <laughs> may this fine prophet continue to smother us in his noodly words. May God, I didn't come. actually read down that far. I just, uh, yeah, to this, be honest. This is the earliest stuff. Noodle segment was great. How dare you cut him off? I got my notepad out and everything. Rick's rad div divs or something who looks like an old man who generally should be on a register, he says, Eli is a noodle noggin. He loves noodles, all right, but for me, it's rigatoni, the mega elbow noodle to use when making mac and cheese. I don't know how you feel about that. Well, you know, mac and cheese is a whole other can of fish, isn't it? You know, it's a, it's a, a whole other thing. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> a lot of people are very passionate about mac and cheese. I wouldn't want to sort of uh, That's not really your remit, step is it? into that whole debate, you know, because you're talking about sauces. Yeah, uh, you're talking about different kinds of pasta, the rigatonis, the penes. Aussie779 asks you a question. It says, Eli, if you haven't tried the Polish amino tomato noodle soup, you haven't lived. Have you lived? <laughs> uh, no, not by your definition uh, there. I um, I have tried their, their uh, other ones, but uh, not the tomato. Yeah. I tend to avoid tomato-flavoured things. Uh, it's not, not my favourite flavour, although... Uh, Tomato ketchup flavored crisps. What do you think of those? Uh, I, I'm not. I'm not keen, really. You're not keen on much food, are you, really? Well, you know, I draw my lines. <laughs> uh, this is interesting. Look at this. There's a kind of a complaint, I would say, but not necessarily about you directly. It says Luna Hula says hearing Eli talk about noodles is one thing, but I think we were missing out on his top ten vagina talk that also got cut short. You see, that was that was actually a joke. I do not have a, any favorite shape of. I'd- vagina you know you know you, you you are a happy chappy no matter what shape you get yeah basically yeah you know what kind of arrogant Twat chauvinist would, yeah. would complain about the shape of a vagina oh look at this unless one. it was sideways or i don't know something <laughs> well, like a letterbox Eli, says Zephod Babelbrox. Eli, try a little Chinese pickle. A mustard tuba is a really good option, despite the unappealing name, on your Nissan instant noodles. Also, for tonkotsu, sprinkle a little pork floss over the top. Makes a lovely, tasty garnish. Uh, I mean, I'm really glad I'm hearing that now, because that is some dynamite advice. I mean, pork floss is something I've been interested in. I saw it in the supermarket the other day, and uh, yeah, I yeah. mean, that's going to work. And he also goes on, actually, he says, particularly fond of a slice of two, a slice of two of surimi. Crab sticks work fine, but I don't want to encourage any snobbery, he says. And a dash of sesame seed oil uh, in my crab or seafood nongshim ooglemen cup noodles. Yum, he oh, says. Oh, yeah, I've had the nongshim uh, ood- oodlemen, yeah. That's uh, very nice. He does very ask nice. a question, though. What is your opinion on the shin cup? Just spicy enough or just needless masochism? Well, I do like those. The Nongshim, they're, they're Korean brand, I believe, and they do go for the spicier ones. And the, it's not too hot for me, but, I, you know, I wouldn't get it all the time. They tend to sort of have a quite an artificial chemically flavour after a while if you get too used to them. Yeah, you start to lose uh, the... Uh, I mean, it, it's crazy how much... Not only am I disgusted by your knowledge, but I'm also offended by their knowledge. <laughs> because at my grocery store, says Sear Pop Pop, um, they have several kinds of kimchi instant noodle packs. And it's amazing. There are a couple of kinds I keep forgetting, which is the best, but they are all written in moon language. Not spicy, but not hot. Uh, they burn, but don't linger. It's like eating a really hot chili. Um, also, I'd like to throw in some ancho chili and egg, maybe some green onions to make them delicious. You know, I, I mean, mean, the green onions is is obviously the uh, 
the total building block, the first step on it, on the pimp journey. Yeah. On the, the, the you get in the pimp mobile, and uh, the spring onions is the first uh, of your hookers that you pick up at the corner. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, okay. Spring onions. I'm just what I'm trying to say uh, is uh, yeah, spring onions. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I mean, it's crazy. I never thought when we put this video out this. I mean, look, Gabriel T.S. Gardner says Eli's Noodle Corner should be an British Institute. Make this mandatory or else. <laughs> I think I should go for the Labour leadership. Uh, you know, <laughs> oh, I wouldn't go that far. I, mate. I'm getting a bit of a mandate here from from people, uh, it seems. It's 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 crazy. I mean, I won't go through all of these because seriously, Eli, there are so Many. I'm a big fan of Indomie Me Goreng noodles. I don't know what oh, yeah. that means. I, I mean, I mean, Indomie, look. another big, one of the the big Titan brands. Yeah, they come with a dried onion seasoning powder, keycap manis, some oil and some chili sauce. Yeah. Nice kick. Product of Indonesia, but I'm sure you can get them in the UK. I'm pretty sure yeah. you probably could. You can get Indomie, and uh, one that I've been trying to uh, get hold of, which I haven't managed. Um, which my friend Mark uh, Allen has told me about. Yeah, uh, is uh, the the beef and lime. That's nice, and, isn't uh, it? Yeah, and that's an unusual uh, sort of combo. And um, Indomie quality, you know. I mean, one of the things is Lady Burn Castle ninety two says, "Can we get some special with Eli and Barry cooking interesting and weird noodle dishes? I think it'd be funny. I'm not even joking. It'd be informative, and I'd watch the hell out of it." Barry and I have spoken about this already, and we're thinking that might be a, a video to do in the future where we do a noodle special. Well, I'm. I'm 100% behind this, and... Uh... <laughs> you are the Egon Nerone of noodles. <laughs> <laughs> it's... it's I, I, I don't know, mate. It's, it's like Eli for president, says one person. Um, <laughs> if Eli... C- Comrade Wilhelm says, if Eli doesn't get a weekly noodle talk segment from now on, you two are both dead to me. <laughs> wow. It, it's like people are getting really passionate about this. I know. I told you that your your mockery was misplaced when you saw that I was deadly serious. No, this, about... is, this is the thing, though. I don't now just feel sorry for you. I feel sorry for at least 100 other people who have now commented on this freaking video. Look, we're not trolls. We're not trying to shout down any franchise reboots or anything. We're just, uh, passionate. We're just uh, passionate. Yeah. All right. Well, then here we go. Right. To level this section off, because obviously we faded you out towards the end. It faded out just after you were talking about the brand new drainage system style thing. Was there anything you wanted to add that was missed out the video that you can now address your nation? Comrade Silverman and his <laughs> noodle proletariat. <laughs> it's your time. So, Eli, I'm turning it all over to you. It's your turn. Speak to your nation. The time is now. Yes. Uh, so, if just picking up from... Um where I got to when I was faded down by the the noodle hating uh, Illuminati. Yeah. Um, yes, there are drainage systems now uh, built into noodles. These are box noodles, I think, is what you'd call them. They're coming out of Japan. Uh, Japan uh, does have the poshiest instant noodles on the planet. Oh God, I hate my there life. are um, I hate my life there so are much. items. Up there, that go for you know five or six English pounds, probably more now after our, our currency was devalued so much. So <laughs> we're talking, you know, six or seven, or even up to eight pound noodles, and these have uh, several flavour packs and uh, uh, undried products that you can add. And um, you know, they're so ingenious. Some of the technology that you get in Japan is uh, uh, has been uh, world leading, and I think the the drainage, uh, the peel back drainage grill that we're seeing on these noodles is something that could be applied, uh, you know, on all sorts of uh, British foods. I mean, British noodles uh, have a bad reputation and uh, there's a good reason. They're disgusting. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the pot noodle, uh, an abomination. I mean, I do like a mushroom, a beef and mushroom. Uh, that's all right. You've got to really put a lot of uh, chili sauce and uh, uh, soy in it. Um, but generally, they add uh, corn flour. So you get this, it's not even broth. You get a sort of slimy paste instead of a broth. And uh, they just think that that's what British people want, you know. Want some sloppy, it's almost like they're trying to make the product more disgusting. Because uh, the Brits have this sort of, uh, you know, this guilt towards instant noodles and i think it's uh it's sad and it's hurting 
uh, the industry here. So if we could get some exciting products over here, maybe with a grill. I mean, if, uh, if Pot Noodle put a grill on one of theirs, yeah, like one of these uh, peel-back uh, drainage grills, um, that'd, be, that'd be a step in the right direction, uh, for sure. <laughs> God, can I stop? Can I stop? No, no, I want you to call, call your people. Call an, I want a call to arms. I want you to get them to rise up en masse and join you on so this revolution. Just- just to say, uh, if you are interested in, in noodles, um, <laughs> I can't take the, the pressure of this. Come on, President I, I, want, I only speak for myself. I can't, I can't there speak There are people for waiting. No, don't you let your people down. They're waiting for this message. They're waiting for a leader. You are that leader, and you're letting them down. I want to hear a rousing speech in the next... 40 seconds that brings them to your side for a greater future, a more promising noodle-based instant food future. Do it now. Okay. Please, <laughs> everyone who likes my noodle chat, just get get in touch. Uh, tell me, we've got to keep this ball rolling, so uh, could I have some noodle suggestions from you, and then I could discuss them, I guess? <laughs> That's awful. 